Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name's Jonathan Hicks. And I'm Noah Hicks. And today we're looking at our times tables. Now, Noah, you've been learning your times tables, haven't you? Yeah. How old are you now? Five. Okay. Noah's my son. Now, can you tell me what is six times nine? One, two, three, four, five, six. Fifty-four. Very good. What is seven times eleven? Seventy-seven. Very good. What is four times nine? Thirty-six. Very good. What is five times ten? Fifty. Well done. All right, you can go and play now. Times tables are really important. You need them in all kinds of areas of maths, whether it's multiplying, dividing, percentages, fractions, decimals. The times tables will just keep coming up over and over again. So it's very important that you learn them. Now I've been teaching Noah a few tricks to work out some of his times tables. It's like the nine times table, for example, is very easy to do when you know how. Uh, three times nine, let's say, one, two, three, and you put down your third finger. The number of fingers you've got on the left is the first digit, so two in this case. The number of fingers you've got on the right is the second digit, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three times nine will be 27. If you want to do six times nine, count one, two, three, four, five, six, put your sixth finger down, and then it's 54. So it's very easy to do your nine times table like that. And most people know their 10 times table, their 11 times table, their two times table. They don't usually need to work those out. But when it comes to your sixes, your sevens, and your eight times table, that's where things get a little bit sticky. And some people often do struggle there. What I'd like to do today is to show you a method for learning your times tables rather than relying on working them out. Let me explain why that's important. Imagine your teachers explaining a topic in maths, let's say it's multiplying fractions. Now when it comes to the 7 times 8 here, what you don't want is to get bogged down in, in terms of working out what 7 times 8 is. A lot of people I see will do 1 times 8, 2 times 8, 3 times 8, and they'll count their way up until they can work out what 7 times 8 is. Now most of the time in maths, that just takes too long. By the time you've worked it out, the teacher's moved on and you've missed the topic of the day, in this case multiplying fractions. You need to be able to focus on the math that's actually being taught and not have to worry about, oh my goodness, what's 7 times 8 again? So you need to learn your times tables, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. All you need in order to learn your times tables is a calculator. But these days, mobile phones all come with calculators. So as long as you've got a phone, you should be able to do this. Now whenever you've got some free time, maybe you're sat on the bus, perhaps you're in the doctor's surgery, get your phone out. It's all right, people will just think you're texting, you'll still look cool. Open your calculator app and then pick one of your times tables. So maybe you start with your seven times table, that often causes issues. So if you type in seven times eight, now if you know it, hit equals, see if you got it right, seven eighths are 56. But if you don't know it, don't work it out. Just hit equals and then learn it. The magic number to get something from your short-term memory into your long-term memory is four. You need to go over something four times to move it from your short to your long-term memory. So just say it over to yourself. Seven eighths of 56, seven eighths of 56, seven eighths of 56, seven eighths of 56. And eventually it will stick in your head. Then try a different one. Now don't do them in order. Don't do one times seven and then two times seven and three times seven. You'll just learn how to add up if you do that. Bounce around randomly. So nine times seven, four times seven, six times seven, two times seven, and just bounce around. Now you'll actually find in practice that you already know many of them. Yeah? If you pick your seven times table, you're already gonna know what 10 times seven is, 11 times seven, one times seven, two times seven, five times seven. So actually, there aren't that many left that you have to learn. But each time you get it, don't work it out, hit equals and learn it. Then, a week later, you come back to it, you might find you've forgotten some of those, okay? Well, that's fine, don't worry about it, just go over them again. We're all born 
with a different ability to remember things. Some people are better at remembering things than other people, okay? And so some people have to work a bit harder at this than other people, but that's fine. If you keep working at this, you will learn them, okay? So revisit it, go over them. You might have forgotten a couple, but when you go over it again, they'll start to come back. A week later, if you go over it again, it'll come back again, okay? And eventually, they will stick in your head and you know all your times tables. It's very important, if somebody asks you what four times eight is, 32 should pop into your head, okay? You mustn't be working out. If you can learn all your times tables like that, it will make the rest of maths much easier. And you'll have a much better time with all the different topics. My name is Jonathan Hicks, and you've been watching Teach Me Maths. Mm -hmm.